What's up my peeps and peepers, in today's video just going to be a hair get ready with me. So this video is sponsored by Kalai Hair on Amazon. So of course I'm going to give I'm going to be styling this hair and giving you a review at the end so y'all can see if this hair is worth it or not. This is going to be 100% on this video. So let's just get into it. So I already have my wig cap on. I think I'm going to put some powder on my capity cap. Take a little foundation brush or a powder brush and I'm going to put this at the edge of my cap just to make this color at the edge a little bit darker than the cap. So I'm going to be taking the color from Shop Miss A and this is the AOA Studio Powder and this is in the color Calf. Y'all know when I do wigs, I do not do the stocking cap method. So. so this is what the wig came in. It looks like this. It's just a Kill My Hair Wigs um, box and then it has a sticker of Kalai Hair off Amazon and it showed you how to take care of the hair and it also came with a wig cap but I believe I put the wig cap in my hair drawer already so yeah it came with um black wig caps so now this is the wig it looks like this it is hold up this is how the hair looks on it and this is how the cap looks. It's a 13 by 6. I did cut the lace. I have tried. I have worn this hair two times before from this video so I can get an accurate review or whatever. So it has three combs right here and one in the back. So all together four combs, adjustable straps, lace in the back. And y'all can see the parting space is just pretty much in the middle on the sides. You can see how small it is. Super small. Don't really like that but hey it is what it is right? Yeah okay. So now I'm going to be taking the color in Toffee and I'm just going to put this on a lace. And this lace came an ashy gray color. Um, I'm going to insert the clip now. I did not like the color of this lace. So all the foundation and stuff that I have put on it basically has stained it. Which I wanted that, wanted it to do that anyway. Because this lace is so light that it's going to take a little bit more effort and time to melt into the skin. Like, it was, looks like it was supposed to be transparent, but that wasn't the case. It didn't happen. It was just like, I'm going to give you light gray. And that's basically what it gave me. I was not impressed. I was, I just did not like that. So I'm just putting powder on the cap. So this is how the hair looks when it is washed. This is how it looks. This is like a, what do I want to call this? It's just a curly wig. It doesn't like specify um if it's like kinky curl jerry curl i know it's not kinky curl if it's like jerry curly hair whatever it doesn't really say y'all can see with that powder being on the lace it blend in real good real 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 good you look a little crazy but it definitely blended in to the skin with the powder i just used or whatever so I'm gonna take some. I appreciate gold it. Spine. I'm gonna be using this little wooden stick to put this glue on my front tool or on my forehead. I'm trying to see do I want it that high? What? Okay. So I'm gonna put it. Cause I see how my hair is. My hair is like right there. So let's just go like this. Voiceover Ashley is here to give y'all the specs on this hair and the review. So first off, the specs is this is from Kalai Hair. It's a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. It's Brazilian curly hair. Not sure what type. Um. The price of this wig is $88.54 and it's only $14 inches so the curls on this wig is really nice as you can see they really pop but just make sure you put mousse at the bottom so the ends can match the top because if you don't the ends of the hair will look dry but yeah so the curls is just really popping on this wig though they look hella good the next 
thing is that this is curly hair it did shed a little not too much and the video that y'all seeing now this hair does not shed like at all it's very minimum shedding but in the very beginning it was a little bit of shedding going on but it's curly hair and everybody knows that all curly hair sheds so that wasn't a really big deal it wasn't like it was like big amounts of shedding it was just shedding you know normal curly hair it sheds but the shedding has definitely calmed down it's not a lot of shedding in this wig like at all and this is my third time wearing this wig so yeah shedding is very minimal now um what else I feel like this hair is a really good price. It's not really too much stuff you can really review on a curly wig. You just, it's just really not. But yeah, this hair is really good for the price. It's only $88.54 for a 14 inch, 13 by six lace front wig. You already know I did not like the color of the lace. Other than that, I had no problems with this hair. I would definitely recommend it for the price because it's real affordable for the price, y'all. You can't beat it. And the little shedding that does happen, you can't be mad at it because it's curly hair. Period. So overall, I do like this hair. I would recommend it if you're looking for a nice, short, affordable, curly unit. Definitely shop with Amazon. And you already know the shipping is a plus on Amazon. One day or two days. That is not bad at all to get you some hair. Especially if you're in a rush and you need a quick little bob. This is real nice, and this is Kalai hair. Um, it did have a little bit of a smell, but Kalai hair always has a smell. <laughs> Nothing too serious. It came right out once I washed this hair. I did pluck this hair, and I did not bleach the knots on this wig. Only put makeup on it. Um, that's pretty much everything I did to this wig. I didn't do nothing major. I did not cut it. I just styled it. Did all that, which y'all will see. In the next clip after me installing it so if you have any more questions about this hair let me know in the comment section down below i'm gonna get out of here yeah the front loop is on i'm just gonna let it sit for a second just so the ghost bond well the ghost bond is pretty much dry but i just laid the size down that's like the most important part to me so i'm gonna let this stuff dry Last clip. So I'm trying not to press any hairs into the front too. I'm gonna do this part. This is not transparent lace, so if you see it, you're going to see it, you know? We know that. Okay. We're just going to try to conceal it as best as possible. Okay, so I'm going to be back when I figure out how I'm going to actually style this hair. I don't know if I'm going to do a middle part, side part, half up, half down. <laughs> or slick to the back I don't know it's pretty much optional um so yeah I'll be back when I figure out uh, that or whatever so yeah okay y'all so I just wet the hair with water and I put it in the middle part but decided to change the look so I'm going for a half up and half down and the way that I'm gonna part this is by the arch of my eyebrow on both sides it's a very simple, easy look. It's just a half up, half down with freaking a edges. It's no really need to explain because um, I'm pretty sure everybody know how to do a half up, half down. It's just not rocket science, y'all. I don't know why this video is taking me so long to edit and upload or whatever because I done filmed this video about three times and I'm over it. So, yeah, I know y'all wanted like um, a real time, non sped up type of hair review, but at this point, this is repetitive. Everybody know how to know how to do.
everybody know how to do a half up half down so i don't see <laughs> what's so tutorial ish about this video you know when i'm trying something different or really doing a tutorial tutorial especially not these clips right here so yeah i'm over it but that's basically what you're going to be seeing from the next couple of with the next couple of clips okay so enjoy it period <laughs> So I'm about to do my edges and I'm going to be using got to be glue. Okay, y'all, so this is the style that I'm going with. I'm just going to wet or put some mousse on this side of the hair really quick since it is, like, getting poofy. So I end up putting mousse on the hair, especially a lot on the ends of the hair because it can get really dry if you do not lather this hair with mousse or any moisturizing product. But this mousse worked really good for the ends of this hair. We don't want dry ends and the rest of the hair looks very nice, luxurious, shiny, you know, curls is popping and then when you get to the ends, it's poofy. Nobody likes that look, so I did have to put a lot of mousse on this hair for that reason. And that's the finished look. Ew. So this is how the hair looks completely dry, not wet at all. The only thing it has in it is mousse and then the water from the previous clips. That's what I did. So this is how the hair looks completely dry. I do have a lot of mousse on it. As you can tell, you can see it has mousse on this part. This has mousse too, but like mostly on the ends because I wanted to maintain the curl at the ends and not let it get poofy. So everything looks like this. I'm gonna show you how the back of my hair looks. I don't think I put enough product or whatever in the back, so it's a little. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you would like to. I'm not going to force you, but the button is there, sis or bro. You can hit it if you want. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Bye, y'all.